Now, I said I wasn't going to do a lot of reviews, but this knife is amazing. I've had this for seven or eight years now. It's my go-to. Um, they're 11 and 3 quarter inch knife, 7 inch blade. You know, the regular K-bar is just the modern materials. It's got a couple little scratches in the, in the blade. That one was actually from a blade sharpener. It kind of ticked me off. But I don't know if you can see this. Eh, it won't pick it up. There's one little tiny nick. In the edge. I don't know where it is. It does have a little nick in it. Oh, that's right. Right about there. Now, for what I've put this thing through, and for that one itty bitty nick, impresses the crap out of me. This thing has cut through steel belted radial tires. It's cut through three or four deer. Including the rib cage, the pelvis, I've quartered and skinned them, processed them. It's gone through femurs. It's gone through forelegs. It it's amazing. I'm not gonna do a cut test with it. You've seen a million cut tests on YouTube, but and it still holds its edge. You strop it a little bit. I think I've hit it with a stone once or twice. But it. It just doesn't fail, ever. You don't need a bone saw, you don't need a bunch of fancy tools. Just get yourself a K-bar and don't worry about it. If you need a knife to work and do its job. They're getting up there in price. When I bought this one, I think I only paid like 50 bucks for it. And I think now they're about 100 But, full tang. I mean, it's a K-bar. They, uh... They worked good 80 years ago, and they still work great today. You can't beat them. If, if you need one knife that won't fail you ever for anything, this is it. It's just, it's amazing. So I'm going to stop doing knife reviews now. That's it. I'm done. Maybe to come up with another one that I really, really like or really ticks me off. But we'll let y'all know. I would not hesitate to tell anybody to buy one of these. These are just, they're absolutely amazing. It's a 1095 Cryo V, I think is what the blade's made out of. Something like that. 1095 Crovan, that's what it is. So it's a, it's a high carbon steel blade, and it's got a little vandium, vandium and chromium in it. It's the Crovan, but uh, so it's not super fancy. It's not Elmax or exotic stainless, but it does the job and it does it well. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll uh, talk to you later.